Sons! Except perhaps. Still lazing around with a human, I see. I suppose you haven't seen my scarf then. I can't seem to find it anywhere. Nope. Did you check the closet? Of course I did! Any idea where he put it, kid? <sighs> Thought so. Guess it's last forever. To be honest. Sons, you will look for it with me! You mean you want me to give you a hand? Another trick of that pernicious dog. <sighs> Guys, look. Sons? Is our house haunted? Nope. Let's follow it. Stealth mode activated. Where is it headed? The basement. The basement? Is it really inside? I don't know. The door's open. Well, only one way to find out. Let's go! <laughs> You're so cool, bro. Do you see anything? It's too dark. <laughs> it's so messy! So many socks. Sons! Hmm. <sighs> A child? Uh, wait! I'm not a bad person. I just... Who? Ah, uh, yes. I'm Mel. Mel the Skeleton. <laughs> skeleton! D don't scream, please! Why are you here? Uh, that's a good question. Do you? Frisk! Is that a skeleton? It's my scarf! Deja vu. <laughs> Come here, kid. What happened? I thought the machine was broken. Yep. Hey, obviously it wasn't. Looks like Black's are you. Where's their brother? Dunno. They are so tiny! Gotta make a call. Brother. Um. Me? Excuse me? Um. Where are we? Who are you guys? <laughs> Apologies for the late introduction, Tiny Skeleton. My name is Papyrus, and you are currently in our basement. I'm Frisk. Let us explain the situation. So, you're saying that this is not my world, and I've been transported into an alternative version of it. But you have no idea of how? Yes! And I am not the only one? 
There are quite a few of you, actually. Though I appreciate you not trying to kill us as soon as you arrive, like some of the others. Also, we're on the surface, so... Ah, and, uh... Got Black on the phone. He's coming with his bro. Maybe they know si uh, You guys okay? Brother! We broke them! Yeah, first let's go upstairs. Later. So, you just woke up there. Yes. You really don't remember anything else. Well, I'm not sure. Everything's a bit fuzzy. I remember seeing something really colorful before I completely passed out. Um, we're still in Ebbet, right? Yes! Hmm. You're taking all this surprisingly well. Don't you think it's strange? Oh! Ha ha ha! I guess I do. Hmm. This place is quite... different. Uh, ha. Different? But you were in the basement this whole time. How do you know that? Um, I saw it? You saw... Is it magic? Guys. Is that the newcomer classic? <laughs> smells nice. Hell! Stop it! You know him? Yes! That's Russ. Please excuse his rudeness. Um, he, he too comes from a different universe. Russ, you apologize too. Was wondering what kind of freak appeared this time, but you're a cutie. Got some killer reflexes, too. How'd you even get that nasty scar? Are you insulting me? Ross, don't be mean! Stop fighting! Stop antagonizing her! Can't you see she's already stressed out? Hey, don't mind him. He's a real numbskull. Eh, uh, not much of a talker, eh? Anyway, how about we all calm down? Where's your bro, Russ? He's on his way. What? Why didn't you come together? <laughs> Can't move. You stay out of this. Teleportation? <sighs> Are you done? Stop. That's enough. You already won. No need to go further. Indeed. I'd appreciate you letting go of him. No matter how crash he gets. Huh. I'm the only one who has the right to discipline this idiot. What a mess. Threatening your hosts and destroying their property. Have you no manners at all? I... Or are you a brainless thug? How uncivilized. Aren't you going to release them now? <sighs> Good to see you're at least reasonable. Classic. 
a word. Yeah. So, what do you think? Clearly, she is very different from the rest of us. Both in terms of appearance or magic. You ever heard of a monster like that? Well... I can't say that I haven't. Ludicrous. Eh. Hmm. What do we do? Should we take her to the king? Um... No need to rush the process. How about we try to get more information first? If you are feeling better, I'd like to ask you a few questions. <sighs> Excellent. I trust that you will answer them in a straightforward and truthful way. All right. Name. Mel. Occupation? Guard. Any siblings? No. Are you hostile to humans? Other monsters? No. LV. Hmm? These are strange circumstances that brought you here. <sighs> I understand your reluctance to confide in strangers in this situation. However, I need you to be fully cooperative as we are running out of time. And if talking doesn't work, be aware that there are all sorts of methods to make a reluctant person talk. So, let me ask you again. Do you have any love? It is stable. That's still for me to judge. Especially after what happened earlier. You may look sane, but love tends to make people aggressive. We can't have you going on a murder spree at the slightest trigger. It's a peaceful world, after all. Peaceful? Yes. Do monsters usually fight like that in yours? Guards do. Especially when a strong monster barges in, displaying suspicious behavior. I seem to have misunderstood. Sorry. <laughs> nah, you're not. Fiercer than you look, aren't you, darling? Not that I mind. But I'd be careful from now on if I were you. Especially around the Edgelord and his bro. Some of us just really hate... Watch it, Mutt. Yes, yes. I'm also curious about the current state of your universe. You don't seem to be particularly phased by the presence of humans. That's right. Maybe Frisk has already broken the barrier in her world. Doesn't seem to recognize the kid, though. Oh, it could be a change, just like with Blue and Stretch. Still doesn't explain why it's not a pair of brothers. Nope, nobody but us. Sons! Another skeleton. Right, it'd be foolish to try following the usual pattern with such a blatantly different universe. For all we know, she could have left the underground ages ago. Or perhaps a human appeared and she killed them herself. That would explain the LV. Regardless, there shouldn't be any other skeleton monster. Seems like Papyrus can't check her so properly, too. It wouldn't matter normally, but Classic insists that she didn't appear because of that blasted machine. One way or another, 
Her timeline must be important. Is it related to him after all? She probably won't say much more for now. Because of distrust or exhaustion, either way it's understandable. Do we let the classics deal with it for now? Given her attitude, it is unlikely she'll try anything stupid even if we leave her alone anyway. Still... You... It's getting late. Classic, why don't you make yourself useful and show our guest around? I believe you can handle it from there. I need to organize some notes. Hopefully we'll be back tomorrow. Mm. Mutt, we're leaving. Ah, already? Don't make me repeat myself. And we're using the door this time. <sighs> Fine. It was nice to meet you, Shorty. See you later. And they are gone. Well, Black is right. A visit is in order. Mail, would you? Mail? <laughs> <laughs>